So I wanted to do a quick video as a follow-up to our 5970 unboxing on just how big this card is and what it's going to take to get it to fit in your case. So one case that I had on hand here, a build that I've been working on and is torn apart right now, I apologize for the state of it. This is the Corsair Obsidian 800D case though, and I just wanted to show for scale the kind of monster case that you need to fit one or, heaven forbid, even two of these video cards. So, we're installing it in our PCI Express slot here, and there's a couple things I want you to note about this. First of all, how much overhang there is from a standard size ATX board. You're pretty much going to need a case that supports eATX, or has a lot of clearance past the edge of the motherboard if you want this card to fit. Another thing to note is that it's very important to choose a motherboard that has right angle SATA slots, because you can see there's two, two, and two Two of the SATA, sport, SATA ports on this motherboard are actually directly under the video card we can't access them. If they were right angle, then we'd be able to plug them in from the side, even under the video card. Now, the last thing I wanted to kind of show you, just for perspective here, is a couple generations ago, this was a reasonably high-end card. This is a 3850, okay? So for, for size comparison, that's what it looks like compared to the 5970. Just ridiculous. So, oh, actually, one more thing. You want to be very careful with your system once you've got this installed. So you put in your two screws, but you got to think about this. The only thing supporting this card is your PCI Express slot and two screws over here. You want to be careful not to jar your system or ship your system, potentially, unless you've done everything you can to secure this card in place, because it can put a lot of strain on your PCI Express slot. Thank you for checking out my installation video for the Radeon 5970.